Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back. I see that I've missed some very interesting days in this game. I want to talk about what is going on on this market as we have continually seen daily panic selling the past couple of days. I just feel like this is a great opportunity to speak about what has gone on and also talk about how we can make coins from it because these panic selling windows happen all the time. And it's been one of the biggest ways where I've made coins this year, buying during that peak of the panic sell. And then when the market does rebound, sell in that rebound. It's great for quick flipping. So I wanna talk a lot about that today. Go over the content that we have seen in the past couple of days. We had player picks yesterday. We had the Muller SBC, which I think wasn't really like leaked really far ahead of time, which was nice uh, to have some like surprise of, of content. We had the mini release uh, a couple days ago with the 85 times 10 making waves on this game. I want to talk about that pack as well. Uh, and just even what to expect into today on Tuesday, as we kind of are wrapping up this winter wild cards promo, there's a couple things that are uh, leaked. Oh, I got to talk about that wild card token that's in the store too. I have to talk about that because that is actually crazy. But first things first, a little business to attend to. Uh, the giveaway that was announced in the past couple of videos, that period has ended. So check the description of not this video, but a video probably tomorrow or in the next two days. Uh, I'll tweet it out as well. Uh, we will be picking the winner of that, the winners of that giveaway very soon. So make sure uh, you keep an eye on the description uh, to see the winners of that to see if you won. So again, thanks for all the support this year. It's been mad. And let's get into this video. So we're talking about the panic selling. First, what I want to look at is the content that's come out in the past couple of days and just talk about that very briefly. Um, obviously, the Causa SBC was released um, a couple days ago on December 26th. Now, the daily SBCs for Winter Wild Card ended, but we had this Thomas Muller yesterday. I think this card is really cool because Thomas Muller does not get a lot of love in FIFA, right? High, high work rates. The 90 pace is what's drawing people to this card. Uh, the 77 composure is not that great. I think some people are looking at this card's weaknesses, like the three-star skill moves as well. But this is a decent card, right? And if you're a Bayern fan or if you love the Bundesliga or you love Thomas Muller, like this is this is probably one of the most usable Thomas Muller cards you're ever going to see on this game. So that part of this card is a W. It's very cheap. It's only like 47,000 coins. Uh, because So that is, is a WSBC. Now, also at the moment, there are 78 plus player picks, which they gave the rating they, they did 75 plus player picks last week, and I think people are enjoying these. Now, I believe you have to turn in an extra player though, right? Uh, you have to turn in, actually, you only turned in five players before. Now you have to turn in seven and get 30 chemistry with three rares. But the 78 plus part of this is probably something that people are spamming. People are doing some of those uh, because there's some insane cards and packs, right? There are some mental cards and packs. We, I mean, I, I can't not start off this video by talking about Zlatan Ibrahimovic getting this card, man. I think this is absolutely wild how expensive this card is on the market. 3.1, 3.2 million coins. This is ridiculous how expensive this lot. It's all hype, man. I, I know it's all hype. Uh, I mean, the card does look insane, but 3 million coins with how cheap the rest of the market is, I do 100% think that this card's price is going to drop down in the next couple of days. Although, I mean, th this card is just, I mean, wow, that is such a sick card. Literally incredible. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. They, they gave him a huge agility balance boost, 88 agility, 84 balance. The shooting is fantastic. I've watched some player reviews. I mean, I used Zlatan's gold card in the first week of the game, and he was fantastic. So I know that a lot of the cards that are out right now, people have a lot of interest in, right? Again, this winter wild cards promo has really like upped the power curve. And so going out of this promo, even with the all, we're having a lot of leaks, right? I'm not going to talk about too many leaks, especially for the upcoming promo. I'm going to save those for later on in the week, just for the sake of people that don't uh, like to look into those too early. I totally get that. Uh, but there's been a lot of leaks about what's coming next. I really think that these cards right here are still going to be rising above what the next promo is going to be. Um, and even for the next couple of weeks, even post team of the year on this game, I feel like a lot of these winter wildcard items are just that good that they're, they're going to stay in people's teams and they're going to be hyped. So that's why we're going to continue to watch these cards prices and watch them move a lot uh, on the market. The 85 plus times 10, that was a huge, huge market mover. And this is where some of that panic selling came in a couple days ago. Um, 
on Sunday. I want to talk about that panic selling and how that moved the market as well. Uh, EA have def everything about this whole winter wildcard swaps promo, like the swaps portion of it. But it's hard to find the tokens. A lot of people were like, yo, where do I actually turn in my tokens? It's under the swaps tab here. Uh, now, technically, I only have, I think I only have seven. Wait, what do you get from this? 100 coins? EA Sports, man. Come on. So I have, uh, I think I only have seven tokens at the moment. So I got to get, I got to get my stuff in gear so that I can grind these out um, and get all these tokens finished because I got to open this pack because these 85 times 10s, I mean, I really want Zlatan so bad and I'm probably just getting sucked into this right now um, with this promo being out. But EA's got me, man. EA's got me and I want to open this pack. I really want to open this 85 times 10. Now I'm not going to turn in my tokens to this right now. I'm going to let them sit just in case until I get all 15. But crazy, 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 crazy. The 85 times 10. Of course, it was all untradeable, but everybody panic sold cards for this. And that's really what I want to take a look at on the market today is how the market has been moving over the past couple of days. The last two days in this game, both days, you have seen so much panic selling and rebound afterwards all over the market because of the content that has come out. Now, the panic selling in the past two days has been for different reasons, right? And again, the reason why we're looking at this is so when you see panic selling like this on the game, like take a look at this Ice Gabriel Jesus. Um, this was on Sunday, right? With the 85 times 10, he was 455,000 coins, went to 382, rose back to the price he was and even higher after that and the buyback the reason why we're looking at this today is because there are insane opportunities to make coins on cards like this and you know it, it always depends on the content right it depends on what content that ea release or the lack of content that ea release on how the market responds from this so there's always a little bit of risk involved but with leaks these days we almost always know what's coming ahead of time so there's not as many surprises so you can kind of learn to play with this panic selling with this um you know the buyback afterwards and start to buy cards in the panic and then sell afterwards. And it's not that huge of a risk, right? This is more uh, motivated by just trading, right? It's not like, hey, I have these cards in my team. Should I try to sell them and then buy them back in the low point and try to save myself a few coins? In all honesty, for a lot of these cards that we're going to look at, that stuff that's out of packs, not really, right? Because in, in the end game, you know, you might make a few coins, um, but it just depends on what you bought the card for in the, the first place, and it may not be worth selling. Like if you bought Modric at 700,000 coins, would you really want to sell as he's starting to be panic sold and drive the price even lower uh, and then worry about buying the card back and before it spikes up in price? I wouldn't really mess with that. This is purely for the making coins aspect today on this game. So there was two different periods of panic selling in the past couple of days. The first one was on Sunday, right? The 85 times 10 pack got everybody all hyped. Everybody's all hyped. Look at all the thumbs up here um, with the on foot bin, right? 83%. Now, some people are saving this pack for team of the year, but a lot of people have already opened it, right? I've seen a lot of them on Twitter. I've seen people packing Neymar, multiple winter wildcard items um, from team two, obviously not team one. I've seen just crazy, crazy packs all over the place. I've seen some duds as well, right? Some people that get like Harry Kane as their highest card, no specials, maybe one in form, and that's it. Uh, but that pack caused a lot of panic because people were just like, oh my goodness, this is going to be crazy, right? And they were also expecting the Coutinho SBC, which did come out. I just think it was a little bit expensive. Um, and all of that combined on Sunday just caused tons of panic selling. As you can see here, Gabriel Jesus, again, from 450K down to 386, back up to 465. Now, the three things that we look for when there's panic selling on any part of the market, let's say like today on Tuesday, right? We don't really know what content is coming today. There's a couple of leaks. We'll talk about one thing that could be dropped today uh, or maybe a couple things actually. But stuff you'd be looking forward to today uh, would be obviously something that you would not, you don't want it to be replaced, right? Like an icon SBC, that's not really like a player SBC that's getting dropped that would replace an item that you may already have in your team that would make that card get panic sold. That would just be general market panic. Like why is Marquinhos 516K? Ah, Causa. And that's another thing, right? Causa is actually a card that I wanted to talk about because this Tiago Jalo, the Causa SBC yesterday, uh, or actually two days ago, the 26th, 
also caused a lot of panic on a, this exact card right here. Take a look at Koza on the 26th. Where is he at? He was 325,000 coins down to 270, but boom, bounce right back up because this guy meets all three of our criteria that we we're looking for when we're looking to buy cards that are being panic sold, right? He is meta. Yes, people love using this card. He's absolutely meta. He links to Renato Sanchez. He's got League One links. League One is very hyped right now with all the links that are out in this game, the special cards that have been dropped, SBCs like Awar, etc. Is he meta? Yes. Is he popular? Yes. We just answered that question as well. And number three, he's rare. He's an out of pack special card. So he checks off, he checks off all three of the boxes that we look for in a card that um, people like to use. And when people like to use a card, there's demand, right? And that is what makes a card bounce back from a panic sell, right? So people panic sold Jalo because of the Kaza SBC, but he literally bounced back two to three hours later because he's an out of pack special card that does not get supplied, except for when EA run those really random and really stupid winter roundup lightning rounds, which they've only done once. They haven't done it again. So we don't have to worry about that too much, at least right now. But that's kind of what we look for when there's a lot of panic selling. Uh, and then we, when we look for a bounce back too, right? Now, of course, you have to be careful with some cards like this Cancelo because right now we have a Tierney card in the game that is 40,000 coins that has destroyed this guy's price. Look, 162K down to 132. Yeah, he did kind of bounce back into the 140s, but he really didn't bounce back much. He's still 135 because you have this card that is out right now that everybody is turning away from Cancelo and they're playing with this Tierney because he's literally way less than half it's like one third of the price almost and this, the card stats look just as good if not better for a left back right so you have to be careful with this stuff but if you kind of look at this popular page on Footbin, this is a tool that i use all the time take a look at some of these cards that are on here on this popular page these are the cards that move the most like that uh, gabriel jesus ice card he's on the most popular page because he's still a newer special item so many people love to use him uh what about kunde i bet kunde dropped with the cause of sbc but then rebounded I would almost bet money on this. So yes, he went from 299,000 coins down to 260, rebounded back into the 280s. He reached 287. Uh, he was even 290 yesterday. What is he right now? 286. So he's up, right? So boom, that was a great um, card you could have bought when he was low and then sold when he went up. Again, it works best with the out of pack special cards uh, and the stuff that is the most popular meta and rare for sure. Now let's talk today on this game, right? Are we gonna be able to do this sort of trading? today well again the reason why there was a lot of that panic selling in the last couple of days was because of two major things right all the content that was coming out on sunday and then yesterday everybody was worried about a base mid icon sbc releasing that may have been repeatable or a baby icon sbc that was repeatable or a baby icon player pick right so there was a lot of panic yesterday based off of that sort of stuff and that's why you saw a lot of the prices drop yesterday on the market as well now, what is there to be panicking about today? Well, technically, not a whole lot. Now, they could definitely, absolutely drop another Icon SBC today because we do not have a Icon Upgrade SBC that is live in this game right now. And especially during this time, this has been a huge SBC promo. They've had Icon SBCs out in this game for a while. We don't have one right now. Um, and that's very interesting, right? It would make sense for me today for them to release something else. And if you remember this, this is kind of my tinfoil hat theory here for maybe another one dropping today is they dropped the first basement icon SBC on a Sunday, right? They didn't re-up it the next Sunday. They upped it on the Monday. So they waited eight days. This last week after it, or actually even yesterday, after it expired on Monday, they didn't re-up it. So maybe today on Tuesday, they're going to follow that same trend. It's like eight days for an Icon SBC. Maybe we're going to get the, a base mid release today or something like that. I don't know. I don't have leaks. I have not seen any leaks, but that could be potential, right? I'm still surprised they haven't dropped a party bag. Like what? That's literally the perfect SBC to drop. And I'm surprised that they have not done it. That's still out there, right? So if there are leaks for a party bag, if if there is any sort of hype created, right? A lot of this is driven by TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, um, just a lot of different stuff where people are saying, hey, this SBC or this content's gonna be coming. And that's what causes the panic. That's what really fuels a lot of this fire. So if we see more of that sort of you know panic and posts and stuff like that today on Tuesday heading into the content drop, then that might be a scenario where you see st cards start to drop. And what I would do is, you can honestly wait until the content drop. You, you maybe watch this video and like, Nate, when do I buy this stuff when it gets panic sold, right? A lot of this stuff reaches its low point 
either right before or right at 6 p.m. UK because people are just waiting to see what the content is. Um, and then after that, if the content is not very good, which that's a literal 100K undercut on Raheem the Dream Sterling, this is my first trade in like two days, man. It feels great. A nice little 100K undercut. Let's go, man. 390 on Raheem the Dream? Get in. Actually, I'm going to send that to the transfer list really quick, and I'll list that in a little bit because he just dropped down like 20K. Anyways, welcome back to the market, TFA. Um, if there's any reason for people to be panic selling today, uh, I would say wait until right around that 6 p.m. time frame because if you don't wait and you buy a little bit early, you run the slight risk that the content is actually insane um, and that you, instead of making coins off of your investment, you might lose coins because the content they release might actually be insane, drain some coins off the market and stuff like that. So that's why I would say, especially with this year's game already, we know that it's been such a year of just reactionary trading, right? See what the content is then go out on the market and make some moves. I think that applies with this way of thinking as well. So what I would say is Tuesdays on the market are usually a pretty you know, nice day, right? Unless we have some big SBCs today, I wouldn't expect a lot of panic selling unless there's a lot of hype built up for those SBCs today. Usually it's starting around like the Wednesday timeframe. Wednesday is usually a day where we see people sell stuff because there's division rivals rewards and there's stuff like that coming out later on that they have to be worried about. So that's kind of my thinking for the market today on Tuesday. Now, supposedly, one of the leaks that we have at the moment is this right here. We supposedly have a record breaker, Ed Odson Edward, uh, for the quickest goal in a debut in the EPL, 28 seconds. Uh, this card could be pretty dope, right? Now, I, these are not confirmed stats. This is a leak of just that the player SBC for Edward is coming soon. Uh, and that could be nice, right? A lot of people did Zaha. This would be perfect for EA Sports to maybe, I guess, get some extra people to do an SBC that they maybe normally wouldn't do because that card, if those are the stats that this Edward would have, that could be pretty insane. His base item was one that people use in starter teams for a long time as well. So that's pretty interesting. And then we've also had, and I'm going to scroll down here just to show you this. We have a showdown SBC leaked between Kovacic and Kieta, and this is pretty dope, right? I'm a big fan of this. There's a lot of Premier League agenda being pushed recently too. A lot of Premier League SBCs that have happened in the past week uh, or the past couple of weeks. A lot of Premier League cards in the Winter Wild Cards promo that people are using. Uh, so like it's Premier League and Ligue 1, I would say, is very popular right now at the moment, and French links especially. Um, but this could be a really neat SBC. Now you you maybe would see some midfielders from the Prem drop off because of this, and some of the defenders or maybe wingers from the Prem rise because of this, because this game is on Sunday, January second, and since that game is coming very soon, uh, we did see uh, you know like the Sule and the PK SBC was dropped a few days before that. I would expect that showed on SBC anytime this week. Same thing with the Edward, right? I think that would be anytime this week. I don't think it's necessarily today. Uh, I think an Icon SBC, again, we still haven't had the, we were supposed to get like Zola, uh, what was it, Zola, and I don't even remember the other Icon players that we were supposed to get, but we don't. We only have two Icon player SBCs in the game right now, which is weird, right? Usually we have a lot more than that. So there's a lot of content that's kind of like leaked slash pending that I think we would maybe see. Again, a party bag and an Icon upgrade SBC would be a part of that. So Whatever way EA starts to drop this stuff, there could be some panic along the line, but I just don't think there'd be as much panic as we saw earlier this week um, for those 85 times 10 and for, again, the rumors that were happening yesterday on this game. So, again, today, I think one thing that's, other, other than what we think could be coming today on Tuesday, there's really not anything that's confirmed, right? I think they're going to give us some more winter wildcard tokens. And by the way, we got to talk about this in the store. I know you've heard a lot of people talk about this. Um, because of the, the just kind of little bit of a scumminess around this pack that is inside the store. But is this pack, wait, win, yeah, it's this one, Winter Special Pack right here. Uh, dude, the, again, look at this. This is a perfect example. You take a look at this pack right here. A 100,000 coin pack is 2,000 FIFA points. And EA did say from the beginning they were going to make a token available through the store. I just, this is just so blatantly obvious by EA Sports that they're trying to make people put FIFA points on this game because 500 FIFA points worth of value in dollars is so much less in comparison to what the, the coin value for this pack is. They're really punishing people that want to open this with coins and I refuse. I refuse to open this pack. I know it's a 50k pack with an 83 plus team of the week player. So it looks interesting. 
and you get the wild card token. So I, I don't want to get sucked into it. I might get sucked into it. We'll see. I mean, I literally just made 100,000 coins on that Sterling. So maybe that's the reason I'm going to do it. But at first I said, I'm not going to fall into the EA trap here. Uh, I'm not going to fall into the trap. Actually, the trap is putting on the FIFA points. But again, that's just, I mean, such an EA thing to do. It really is trying to just snake out some FIFA point sales by putting a, a wild card token in a pack that is in the store. I mean, at this point, what else are they going to, you know, put a wild card token available through? Are they going to release the, uh, an icon upgrade SBC and put a token through that? That'd be, that'd be, that'd be crazy. And that'd be so, I mean, EA to do that, but I just, it just does not seem really right. If you're making a swaps program that you want to make the swaps decently attainable, which they have done so far, and then they go out and do this, it's just wild. So anyways, I know a lot of you guys have been doing the swaps. Let me know down below in the comments how your 85 times 10 has been. That's kind of what I'm going for when I can get all these tokens uh, done and dusted. I think I have, I'm gonna have to go do some objectives, aren't I, to get some swap tokens done. Because Trippier gives you one swap token, and then uh, since I chose Wayne Rooney from the, the live event, I'm going to have to go win five squad battles matches on professional with seven Prem players in my squad. What? Squad battles to get a token? Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to have to go grind that because I got to get that 85 times 10. I feel like it's, it's probably worth it, right? We'll see. But a pack like that at this stage of the game seems to be pretty worth it. So I think I'm gonna go for it. But we're really looking forward to see what the content is today. Uh, and we're gonna have to see what EA do on a Tuesday. We'll see if it's really hyped. We'll see if it's pretty dead. Um, but I'm down for some hype content, EA Sports. I mean, let this promo end with a bang. That's what I'm just asking for with Winter Wildcards. It's been a great promo. Let's end it on a high note, EA Sports, please if you would. So that's the video for today, boys. Hopefully it helped you out looking at some panic selling, looking at how you can maybe make some coins off of that, even if we see some panic selling today on this game. So if you have any questions, drop them down below. Of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.